welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Shield Wonderland! Because I hit my microphone! <laughs> Last episode we started this business. This episode we are going to listen to that guy and go to the Badoo Inn even though we rebelled at the end of last episode and said we didn't want to. But we want to continue the story, right? See what other Pokemon we can get and see if we can beat this game. So here we are. I just wanted to show off the team real quick. We've got Swiper, Sad Frog, Hoot Hoot Patoot, Knuckles up here, Tiny, and then our cute little Milo. So we've got a wide range of Pokemon right now, but as you can tell, their levels are fairly low because we just kind of traded and then boom, ran. Ran right to it. So here we are in the lovely Badoo Inn. With more dialogue to listen to. Hiya, looks like both got yourself registered. Yes, we did, Sonia. We are ready for our adventure. What do you want us to do? Are you going to teach us about this single shield and sword man? What is this then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Gala region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. The short version, if you please. You might as well give me all the details. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by a gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero. Oh, is this the case now? Bearing a sword and shield. This statue here is meant to de depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had. And what with this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it bottled out the skies all across Galar. I suppose the tracks with it being called the darkest day, but still. Huh, suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee then, huh? Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty of research though, Sonya. Black storms, swords, shields and all. You'll be alright. Will you be alright, Sonya? Of course I will. I'll muddle through somehow, don't you worry. I I wasn't doubting you. No, not for a second. I'm gonna look out for you too, Sonya. Yeah, if we hear anything on this legend of the single hero with the sword and shield, we'll let you know, Sonya. You pretty thing, you. Alright, hop. Let's go to bed. Oh my gosh, what are these guys? We came all the way out of the big city so that we could properly cheer on the gym challengers. Team Yell's here to help, after all. Uh, you're in for a battle if you want to stop us. Oh my god. Do we think we can do it? Are they going to be single battles? I mean, Mudbray and Patoot aren't too bad. Tiny. Sad Frog needs some experience. Why don't we just start with Mudbray? See how it goes. They shouldn't be at level 16 yet. I'm not going to lose at the beginning of this game, though. If you watched the Platinum Nuzzlelock that I'm doing, the beginning of the game did not turn out okay. I pretty much lost, like, two Pokemon every freaking episode. So, we're going to make this one go a little bit smoother. Hello, sir. I like your belly button. That brings us to the question of the day, guys. Team Yell. What do you think about them? If you've played through the game, what are your thoughts on their actions? If you haven't played through the game, what do you think Team Yell is all about? I'm curious. Initially, I thought that they were protesters. I don't know, trying to protest for the greater good of Pokemon or not Dynamaxing them because it hurts them or something crazy like that. But it is not the case, and I'm not going to spoil it too much if you're not into spoilers. We can just learn throughout the game. Um, but I'm curious what your thoughts, what were your initial thoughts on Team Yell? And if you've played through the game, what, how did that change? Like, what were you disappointed in their actions? Or what, 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 what was going through your brain? Alright, we actually got some good levels here. Sad Frog and Milo doing pretty good. Swiper wants to learn Hone Claws. What's that do? Sharp is boost attack and accuracy. Let's beat up Tail Whip. Let's, let's give it a Tail Whip here. We could always use for a boost of attack, right? Swiper forgot Tail Whip. Sad Frog! And you learned Water Gun. 
So I did go through. Uh, one of my commenters on the last episode mentioned that you can actually nickname your Pokemon if they come from the United States. So I was able to uh, re-nickname Swiper, Sadfrog, Patoot, but the other three were from different countries, so I was not able to. And once you nickname them once, you can't change that. Not that we need to, but just in case you were thinking about it. Who wants to learn home claws now? Oh, mini Sarge. Power trip. To boost strength and text target. The more the user stats are raised. Ooh, that's pretty good. So let's get rid of Leer. And we learn home claws instead. And Milo, you're level six. In my own personal playthrough, I have Milo. I know that's not his name, but I can't think of it right now. Um, and he actually was my most reliable Pokemon that I used, and he just helped me wipe out this game. So I'm hoping we can keep Milo alive at least. He's very, very, very squishy when he's the first evolution, but when he evolves, he actually gets a lot better. Another one! See, they're holding a, a flag of this one character. Ma Ma Marina? Marine? Ma Ma Marini? <laughs> I still haven't figured out how to quite say it, but here we go. We've got the dark type. Nick it. Let's double kick again. Oh man. Knuckles is going to be awesome. I'm so glad that somebody sent, sent Mudbury through. Because he, I can already tell he's going to just kick butt in this game. And I'll admit that I, I beat, on my own personal playthrough, I finally beat it the other day. Because I was over at Families, we were just hanging out, and I had nothing better to do, so I played it. So, but I look back now and I don't even remember the beginning of the game, so... Alright, who wants to learn Bind? Sad Frog. I mean, we don't really need ground. Growl. Let's do it! Get rid of Growl! So we can strangle people! Sad Frog. You just want to make everybody else depressed. And Tiny! Oh my gosh, look at these levels! Milo, too, he's got a level. Must have got a bit carried away. Yeah, well. What's, what, what is it with Team Yellow and their belly buttons? Like, get longer shirts. Wouldn't expect to check in would be such a bug fuss, Foxy. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me. Well, you were standing right down the stairs. You definitely could have helped out. I'm just saying. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers. The one who's going to be the next champion. Now let's have us a nice two-on-two. -two. More? Bring in the experience. I don't care. No, victory is not on your side because that means I've lost and we don't want that to happen. Oh, I do have to say, I adore the Galar region Zigzagoon. He is so freaking awesome. And his evolution is pretty cool, too. Alright, our double kick is definitely going to kick these guys' butts, so we'll start off with Nickit. But I think that's the only time I've ever wanted to add Zigzagoon to my team. When I first saw Zigzagoon, I thought about Zangoose, and this was what? Third generation? And I thought that Zigzagoon evolved into Zangoose. Nope. That is not the case. So I would run around and get that. I got that thing to like level 50. When, I, when the first games first came out, I was pretty young at the time. And it didn't evolve. So finally I decided to use the thing called the interwebs. <laughs> and look it up. And he, in fact, did not evolve into Zangoose. And I was so sad. Like, I just went to the box and put Zigzagoon in there. I was like, screw you, Zigzagoon. You betrayed me. How could you not evolve into that cool Zangoose? I was so sad. But now his evolution is actually pretty cool in this one. So if we can get one through Wonder Tree, that would be awesome. And we don't have to use him as an HM slave because that's all he's good for anyway. My voice isn't sure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. <laughs> I can't even see the gym challenge open in ceremony, but this is awful. Well, your guys is the one who picked fights. Not my fault. There she is. What are you lot doing here? Marnie. That's her name. Marnie. Nothing. We was just... I know you are... All are terribly curious about the other gym challengers, but you gotta show a bit of restraint. <laughs> they, hided, they hid behind the... 
posters. Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. See? See? I thought they were freaking protesters for some reason. But they're just fans and they're just annoying. Though towards the end, end of the game they get pretty cool. Again, no spoilers. So you're a gym challenger too? This game is very passive. It's very friendly. It's not intense, really. It just is very... I don't want to say hand-holdy. But in a sense, it really is hand-holdy. Because the story is just so friendly. There's not really a bad guy, per se. There's poor choices that were made. But no, like, evil reckonings. Which makes it kind of different and interesting. It's not a bad thing. Morning! So this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Foxy. I'll beat you to Muddlestoke Stadium. Alright, Hop. Or should I say Barry? Run! I'm gonna win! Oh, Look at little Mopiko. That little sucker is strong. Whenever I battled Marnie, that little thing is just a little beast. Gym Challenger, the opening set. Hey, I think I can walk five feet to the stadium, sir. Of course, you should have no problem making your way. Yeah, no, I shouldn't. Why are you so annoying? Now I'm just gonna go the opposite way so that you just leave me alone. Okay, maybe maybe I won't. I won't screw around this time. <laughs> Let's go to the gym stadium, but not because he told me to, but because I'm a smart, independent character who don't need no guide. Here we are! Motostoke Stadium! Screw you, dude. Let's do it, Hop! The first match! Chill, wasn't it? We have to change our clothes? What is this? I'm looking fly! Now I just look like a soccer player. Or football. Football player. Oh yeah, show me that back. Oh, it was trying to zoom in to the number four. <laughs> but my hair was in the way. I was like, what is that random zoom in to the, my backside? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League! I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment! It is my pleasure to announce that finally, the Gala Region Gym Challenge will now begin! Yes, the Gym Challenge! Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders! And gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer! Only the most worthy will have the honor to challenge the greatest champion in history. Now, I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. Show yourselves. Oh, here they are. The big guys. Let's see who they are. Oh, snap. It was that silly guy. There was a silly guy, huh? Mm -hmm. The fighting farmer. Here's the grass type. Expert Milo, the raging wave, it's the master of water types, Nessa! And even burning man of fire, here comes the fire type veteran, Kabu! The silent boy of mystery, Alistair, friend to the ghost types. <laughs> the master of fantastic theater, it's the charming fairy type user, Opal! The ice cold professional, please welcome ice type master, Melanie! And last but not least, the Tamer of Dragons, it's Raihan, the top gym leader! Unfortunately, we're missing one, but... These are the gym leaders that we in the Galar region are proud to call our own! Who are we missing? I don't know. Well, me neither. Who are we missing? Jenga. Here we go, into the field, show our hair! Show our face, but not our number, because our hair's in the way. That would be intense. 
Has anybody ever been on a field with a bunch of people like that? Who's that? I think I would just Mama? cry. Who's that? Hide in the corner in a ball. That introverted. Who's that? Air pump! Standing there on pitch in the stadium in front of everyone. There's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You've made it at last hop. And you too, Foxy. Who were we missing? What gym leader were we missing? Were we missing the champion? I think all eight of them were out there. Hello, Rose. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invested, invented those Dynamax bands, you know? I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be the absolute best. Very good. Very good indeed. That means the whole Gala region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend, so I must be on my way. Best of luck. Thanks, sir. With your your dad bod, your beer belly. Chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You're, you've both only just started on your path. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves. Yeah! Let's do it, Foxy! You know the gym challenge has a set order that... You've got to visit the gyms in, right? Oh, of course. First is Turfield. Route 3. Thank you. Can I Can I just... Can I go on my own now? Or are you still going to interrupt me every step I take? Every move I make? There will be dialogue. So Route 3 is to the left. Let's do it. Huh. A gift? For me? The gift such a wonderful thing from the chairman, such a wonderful man. <clears throat> Excuse me, the gift is the access to the flying taxi. Oh, thank you. Now we can fly everywhere we've accessed. Which is pretty cool. The only, I guess, big complaint I have about this game... I loved being able to ride around on the Pokemon, even if they were predetermined. But in Ultra Sun and Moon... You were able to ride on the Tauros or the Lapras or whatever, you know? And it was so cool to just be able to ride on a Pokemon. While in this game, it's just an instant fly with no interaction and a bike that can scale water too. So that makes me kind of sad because I really like that. You kind of just grow that a little attachment to the Pokemon you, you get to ride and stuff. So, but it's okay. I'm not complaining. It's still a cool game. Thanks for waiting. Okay, we gotta do the Lotto ticket. Yes! Oh, we don't have it yet. Fine, I won't do it. Alright, to Route 3! Cooking while camping is just fantastic, is it? Is it fantastic? Are you sure? Actually, it is pretty cool. Hop! I know which way I'm going! You freaking air pump! There you are. I've been waiting. Let's have a battle. <sighs> okay. But I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> that was like a butt slap sound. Whoosh! Pop sent out Wooloo! Good thing we've got Mudbray the Knuckles! Or is that Knuckles the Mudbray? <laughs> We're gonna just simply double kick you. We're not too over leveled. We are kind of higher than everybody else, but by not much. But not by much. Oh, I can talk today, I promise. My gosh. It's super effective. Typical. Should have known you'd master type matchups. Yes, sir. I better know my type matchups, actually. Sometimes I question my knowledge of Pokemon, because I sit there and ask myself all the time, is this move going to be super effective against this Pokemon? Look at those levels. Sad frog. Everybody's growing. Tiny. Milo. Sobble. Yep, we're gonna swap. Let's see. Who do we got? Oh, he's got Psychic! Hoot Hoot Patoot! Oh, and Milo's- well, see, Milo is really weak. So maybe I'll just go to Patoot, because Milo is so squishy at the beginning. I remember using him, because he's a gift Pokemon later on. I remember using him, and I was like, this thing sucks! But then I kept going because I wanted to see his evolution, and he actually- he's, he's pretty cool. So I want to keep him around. So we're going to use Hoot Hoot Patoot here. 
because I'm too scared. And I don't want nobody to die on me. That was like not effective at all. Let's try air slash. I do have the TM Swift that the game gives you, and I did teach it to a few of the lower level Pokemon that could learn it, just to give them something in case unexpected battles happen, like Team Yell, even though our Knuckles is awesome and took care of it. One more air slash and you're damn sad, Sobble. Hey, we both have a Sobble. My Sobble's better though. Sorry. Air slash! Alright, what's your last Pokemon? Man, those levels. Sad Frog. Do our traded Pokemon get a boosted level? Tiny wants to learn Fury Attack. Nah, we're good. Rookity! Uh. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't Double Kick be super effective? No, it's a flying! What am I thinking? I'm a dummy. Oh well. Knuckles, you got this. Backed into a corner. He's so cute. Too nervous to eat berries. You know, I never... I never... Stop. I never... Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I never hand a Pokemon berries. I don't know why. I'm sure they come in handy, especially like orange berries. Wow, you rock knuckles. Hop! That was a very nice. You know I've won. Why even delay it further? That's right. Eat my hoof. More levels! Ooh, water pulse already? Dang. Well, we got 60. This is 40. I hate to admit it, but in my own playthrough, I, like I said last episode, I chose Sobble because I was originally just going to do a playthrough on the channel and choose Grookey. Well, that obviously changed. And so now I use Sobble in my full playthrough of my own personal and in this game, apparently. So, and Sobble was my least favorite. And I think it just knew that I did not like the Sobble line and that's why I got stuck with it. But Sobble actually came in handy throughout the whole game. So, all right, off to Route 3. Now, we have two bird-type Pokemon. The one is going to be a Steel, and the other one's a Psychic. So, if we get another good Pokemon from Wonder Trade, I'm thinking that we change it out one of the birds. I just can't decide which one, because I like them both. Patoot with its psychic, though, I feel like would be more... I think I could just throw a ball at it. Good try, Gray Ball. I feel like Patoot would come in handy more. But I haven't seen a lot of fire Pokemon in this game. I mean, besides the champion's freaking Charizard. Gotcha. Alright, let's water trade him off. Mr. Trash. You're a little trash in my eyes because I have to trade you away. Uh, send a box. Alright, let's get that started. You are now connected to the internet. Hey! I did not ask to battle you, sir. Swiper, no swiping. Now you can snarl. All the levels! It's good, because you gotta keep up with this game. Hey, dude. You- Ooh, I Growlithe! You wanna battle me, huh? Are you sure? I'm gonna kick your butt. Okay. You saw the pony! Oh, you saw the opening ceremony, then you know I'm excited and want to battle. I was in the opening ceremony, lady. I am a star! Aw, oh, Vulpix. We're gonna bulldoze you into the ground, lady. Oh, we're paralyzed still. Ah! Ouch. Oh, yes. Knuckles, you are the bum. 
More levels! Sad frog. I forget when he evolved. Probably not till 16 or 17. But we got some money to buy potions, right? Ooh, there's a Pokeball over there. Leave me alone! Ah! Ooh, three heal balls. Alright, guys, our trade's complete. Let's see what we got. Goodbye, Trubbish. See if it's worth swapping out one of our team. A teacup. Teacup? It's literally a teacup. Sensity. I think you're a ghost, aren't you? Teacup in which this Pokemon makes is home to a famous piece of antique table where many forgeries are in circulation. <laughs> Wait a minute. You didn't let me see its stats. Oh, it's a level one. Somebody's breeding. A ghost type. I thought so. Should we switch out one of our Pokemon physical attacks at the to the Pokemon Lord's defense? Stab a sharply raise its speed. I don't want you to. That's a terrible ability. You're so weak. Should we replace? So I've decided, since we already have both a dark type and a flying type, which would be Swiper and Hoot Hoot Patoot, we might as well take out Tiny to put in Sensity. It's Friday, so what's gonna Friday, Friday, gotta get down Friday. It's still good to have you. Hey there, lady. You look too small to have a Pokemon. I wasn't allowed to have a Pokemon that young. Ah. I've been studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon. Oh, just like a rich girl. Schoolgirl Hannah. Hannah, you look ready to fight. You got yourself a Pancham. Hello, Zerosian. Enjoy that Super Mario Maker, too. Ah, uh, let's see. He's a dark type, so Double Kick will do its thing. Come on, Knuckles. Oh, yes. Hey, I thought you were a dark type. Or is he fighting? Maybe he's fighting. Look at me, I've been playing Pokemon since I was tiny. And I'm almost 26. Hey, that was not very nice. But that works in our favor, right? Air Slash should do the trick. Hannah, I thought you were studying. You studying to suck at Pokemon battles? I think so. All right. Oh man, Taya, you got some levels, babe. I named her Taya because Taya looks like T. It's like the same word almost. So, except the letters are swapped. So yes, her name is Taya. <laughs> All right. What's there's got to be something over here. Something? Ooh, something sparkly. <gasps> and a TM's up there. We're just gonna get all the goodies, aren't we? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah! Are you studying everything too? Oh, instead of a Pokemon, I found a trainer. I'll have to check how strong you are. I mean, you don't have to. But if you're ready to get your butt kicked. A Badoo. Ah, that's not good. But Knuckles is not going to like a Badoo, but I don't think... Well, we're at about half health, aren't we? So why don't we just take our little butts out of here? What's Milo got? No. Yeah, there. Patoot's going to be our best option here with her flying. Go, Patoot. You can do it. not very effective. Air Slash will be effective. Yes. Just want to make it through Route 3, guys. Yeah. You're not stopping me. I'm not even sure when Hoot Hoot evolves into... Uh, who is it? Noctowl. I guess we'll find out. Probably around level 21, right? Something like that. Not that we need it to evolve. We're already... I feel like we're already overpowered. Until we come up... Like, the next route is gonna be bumped up another, like, three or four levels. So, in a sense, we're not too overleveled. 
we're just trying to stay ahead of the game here. Yeah, my Pokemon are strong. I am the gym challenger. I'm gonna kick all the booties. Hey, lady. Hey, gym challenger. You looked real ace out there during the opening ceremony. Oh, but where's Hop? He went on ahead. He can't sit still at all, can he? Guess he really wants to catch up to his brother. Oh, I know. Let me tell you something about something a bit interesting. You see that building over there? It's a company owned by Chairman Rose. Just past Route 3, there's a mine where they dig up ore. Turn it into energy. In other words, the chairman is responsible for providing the Gala region with its energy, too. This guy has way too much power. I want an escape rope. Oh, thank you. I am just digging your shoes, Sonya. Did you know the escape ropes work? Like, it's not, it's a key item. It just works. It doesn't, you don't have to go buy more, which is pretty cool, I suppose. Oh, well, hello. Well, I can't choose you, Rock. Pick something different next time. There's some roly colies. I used him in my, my playthrough, my own playthrough. Let's see what we got. Some berries. Yes, yeah, shake it a little more. We shouldn't get in a battle. Uh, we're not even gonna call it. Cause you know what's gonna jump out of that tree? A freaking squirrel! Beat up! Hey, I avoided you the first time. Can I do it again? Nope. <laughs> Were you thinking of passing through without even looking at my Pokemon? Well, I was contemplating it, yes. I just didn't want to make you cry when I kicked your butt. Purloin! Another dark type. There is a lot of dark types in this game. Let me show you what my hooves are made out of. Hey, uh... Sco oh, that's that squirrel. I guess I had to run into it anyway, didn't I? He's kind of cute, though. Look at those cheeks. Reminds me of my youngest daughter. She's got those those big puffy cheeks. And I popped him for you. Wow, nobody gained a level. I think we're starting to get over over leveled here. But I can't turn off the experience share. <gasps> you know what? Is this is this who I think it is? Is this who I think it is? Watch this. I'll show you what I carry letters of victory. Oh, it's not him. Okay. <laughs> There is a certain uh, NPC trainer that is just scary. Like, everybody says the Pokeball guy is scary. He is- he's awesome. There's a certain other trainer that pops up every once in a while and he is absolutely terrifying. He looks like he can just rip your soul out with just his eyeballs. Oh. I should have known that didn't affect him. I'm such a dummy. I don't even think double kick will work very well. That's not nice, sir. It's almost Christmas. You know. Your presents should not be exploding. That should be an April Fool thing. Well, that one didn't even heal me either. Knuckles. I might as well just get rid of everybody else. You are the bomb. You know that? He just kills everything so quickly. Wow. Everybody gained a level. You get a level! You get a level! Nothing's over there. Hey, there's a camp. Hi! Oh, well, thank you. That's so kind of you. We can visit a camp? Should we cook some food? Yeah, let's see what you got. I 
see a yamper butt. Yamper! Oddish. Snuffle. Wooloo. So cute. Oops. Well, let's cook some food. Let's do two raspberries. You know, I don't understand this cooking thing. I guess if I would have read the instructions. I don't know if you're supposed to like fan it really fast and make the flame huge, or if you're supposed to like take your time. Either way, it makes food, but I think that there's a way to get it to a higher level, because I always make bronze food. I think I've made silver, like, once. There we go. And then with mixing, I think you can't do it too fast or you spill. It reminds me of... What game is it where you cook berries? Is it platinum? And then you gotta put your heart into it. You didn't even throw yours, you ding dong. Done. Bitter burger steak curry. That looks so good. It always makes me so hungry. Oh, I'm so. Oh my god, did you see a smile? That was hilarious. Hey, we made a silver. Mudbray, I want to see your teeth! Let me get some experience. Thanks, Becca. That's so kind of you. Ah! Everyone's Pokemon's got a type or two, and every type is strong and weak against one. Sizzlypeed. Hello, Sizzlypeed. His Gigamax is pretty awesome. But we're gonna bulldoze you to the ground. What's a dollar? Oh, that's that bug. Hello, bug. He evolves into a ladybug. But I think he's a psychic. Can we do it? Yes. And everybody getting to level... Well, almost. Ooh! Taya learned Mega Drain? Heck yeah! I'm weak. You're like five inches tall. Hey, look, the next part! Now we got a super potion! Geller Mine lies ahead. Alright, guys, I'm in the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and jingle that little bell. And I hope to see you around next time in our Pokemon Shield Wonderlock!